Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be covering League of Legends on the N3 Max using both the metal tweak that gets you faster FPS, as well as showing how OBS and QuickTime recording impact the device. So let's go right into it with the screen recordings and B-roll footage from the Sony a6000. Alright folks, so one of the first methodologies here is I have a Sony a6000, as you see in the blurry shaky cam, getting 300 FPS. This is with the metal tweak, which means you go into the game config file, change to add the metal tweak as listed by this um, photo here. So the other option is here I have OBS turned on recording at using the hardware settings of OBS. And once you turn that on, you see a noticeable decrease in FPS now from 300 to 212. Um, so this is recording a 60 FPS video on screen recording and it also includes the sound that you're hearing. Um, so it does desktop capture when you do screen display. So you don't need black hole, um, which is the option that you need when using QuickTime recording. Um, and I found that OBS to be more taxing on the FPS. So for example, you're seeing dips to 170, whereas we're, what we're about to look at is the QuickTime recording and we'll see how that performs. So QuickTime is done by, I have the hotkey to record the screen and you just got to make sure that you do black hole on or multi output device so that you could hear the audio. And then uh, for me, my hotkey I turned is uh, command shift three, but there are keyboard shortcuts to take, um, you know, I adjusted that, but there are hotkeys where you can go into QuickTime to record a new screen recording. So after taking a while to get that set up, OBS is turned off and we go right into the QuickTime screen recording and this is the backdrop of the A6000 but if we go to the recording we see that we get approximately about 240 FPS depending on what you need a screen recording for or you know if you're making content or recording your gameplay footage it's not like Nvidia where they have a shadow play or something to that effect it's more taxing on the uh, m3 max so i think they should probably try to have better options if um, if apple's trying to get into gaming to have a better screen recording or some kind of app that isn't as taxing or open up the um encoders to not tax the video so much people who are streaming you could of course make a facetime um or use the facetime camera to record you can see here i have a very serious face but this is done through obs and if you want to accomplish this with QuickTime and not have that much uh, impact, you can open up two QuickTime to do a screen recording and do a movie recording and it would have to be in post. Meanwhile, for this, uh, for these settings and what I'm showing on screen, this is done through OBS having a scene that has multiple inputs, one being the display capture, the second being the FaceTime camera. So that's all something to consider um, if you're getting into streaming. You could check out my previous videos that I did from the M1 Max of how to stream on Mac OS. I'll try to leave a link in the comments below. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, this device could get you, we're seeing here on OBS 215, 223 FPS per second, whereas the QuickTime was 240. And we're recording the FaceTime, um, a FaceTime view and the screen recording. So this could be perfect for if you are a streamer or would like to stream. Um, and you don't want to go for an NVIDIA uh, laptop or an NVIDIA desktop, this could be the perfect option. Last thing I want to bring up is that while I was recording with OBS, I had taken my uh, my iPhone and you should be hearing the fan noise that's coming while playing. This is probably the loudest I've heard it on playing League of Legends, but I have heard it in doing the Cinebench scores and stuff of that nature. So my final takeaways for this video as I record B-roll in Sony, sorry, I record B-roll on my voiceover in Final Cut is that I think League of Legends Dota 2 is all playable. I always mention in Dota 2 that some reason the Bluetooth isn't working right with um, Max and still appears to be that way with the M3 Max laptop that I have. You know, that being said, the M3 Max does allow for kind of a good gaming experience while streaming if you needed to use OBS or if you wanted to record content with QuickTime and perhaps make a YouTube channel of your league highlights. That's another option. Of course, with a Windows laptop, NVIDIA and AMD have their own encoders, which I would say probably have 1% impact on gameplay. Um, NVIDIA did a great job of making it so that the encoders don't impact the actual GPU cores where that's something I think could be available for the uh, app these Apple Silicon devices but they're just not that great um, 
you know, software support with OBS or any other recording software that I've found. Lastly, this was a bot match and I don't really play League of Legends. I usually, if I do, play ARAM. So what you're seeing here is not indicative of my League uh, gameplay. I don't usually go 19-5, though when I do play Master Yi, sometimes in ARAM it gets broken. But then it, in ARAM you scale. You don't really scale. If everyone has tanks, I feel like you just lose the game. So I was able to do some work here. Um, it was an enjoyable experience. I was using a Bluetooth mouse and, of course, look at me go on this crazy rampage. But... Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any comments or any games you want me to test out. I am planning to probably return this device. I have it for another week. I'm thinking I'm going to go to Micro Center and get the $2,000 16-inch M1 Max as my daily driver and then have an M2 MacBook Air as my uh, kind of light-use device. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.